Alrighty, welcome back. So, the final video of this uh, stream uh, recording session. I know, I wanted to stop off with the last video, but I just didn't feel like we had reached it. We had accomplished enough to count the session over. Well, we're kind of just now running around like a madman, killing everything. Or well, in this case, a mad woman, just killing everything. As I try to find uh, the uh, scientist, inventor's apprentice. Because I, I can't remember, is it the blacksmith that allows me to pull things out of my weapons and armor? Or is it the apprentice? Well, there's a party over here. Let's go in and join in. Of course, I'm hoping this party is not a big boss that will just wreck me. You guys attacking. Oh! It is bosses! Oh! Oh! This guy's so acid! He's acid. That is going to be such a hard fight because it's like when I go to attack him in melee, he's just going to drop a pool of acid on the Oh, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. I guess he's not as hard as I originally thought he was. Alrighty, good. Oh, that is scorching. Uh, probably not my type of deal. Oh, uh, let's continue on. Stun, although stun base damage. Oh, so that must have been where the insects went uh, that I was fighting down here. They must have went up there. No, because those weren't lightning insects. So somewhere around here, there's going to be a lightning insect boss. I think. I mean. Uh, don't call me, that insect boss might have just vanished in thin air. I mean, it is alpha, early access. I don't want to say alpha or beta because this is very playable. Oh, and what's over here? Is this where the demons are at? Oh, no, this is more undead. Yes, there is a uh, cult, a uh, demon worshipping cult. Uh, that you'll come across uh, somewhere around here. And that is the secret area full of uh, all really tough monsters. But, uh, really tough. This of course doesn't look like it, and level up, sweet. Get me while I'm putting my skills in. Booger. And with that, we'll put another point into physics. Crystals get infected with lights. Oh, huh. 
pretty much a, it's a blight. Uh, yeah, it's, I guess it's smallpox I'm infecting everyone with. You'll die to smallpox. Alright, so I'm gonna sell it and come back here, but I'm gonna do all the selling off camera. Alright, so I've sold off camera, I looked at some of the inventory, it wasn't really that good, I mean, things have changed, uh, my shirt has changed, I got rid of the blue boots, even though blue is really good, blue's better than green, um, uh, but it just didn't benefit me, it only added fire, a percentage of maximum fire damage, I don't have any fire damage, so it just didn't seem worth it. Um, so now I'm determined, I'm deciding whether I should equip this for, uh, this to my weapon because my weapon does poison, or because, you know, this aura does, uh, extra poison damage, bonus to poison damage, that type of deal, um, or should I go with uh, this? Because uh, I do bonus cold damage with my Nightblade ability. And they're pretty much even at this point. The real difference is this one looks like it has a very nice ability. And like I said, if I don't like it, I can uh, re change it up. It, by sticking this one on top of it, or pulling the other one off, and that type of deal. And that's 16, and this is 32. I have to give the poison damage a try first. Is this okay? There's yeah, fire in your eyes and blood on your clothes. I see you done uh, your share fear of killing. I feel vindicated, righteous. That's what I'd like to hear. If uh, it wasn't for my bur bum leg, I'd be out there with you, paying dole. Others uh, with good iron hearing the tells is just the next best thing. Thank you. You kill the score of uh, those shambling dead, but I think you can do better. The ethereal's corruption creates something mo truly monstrous. Uh, a monstrous mutation in some of the dead. Go out there and hunt them out. Hunt some of them down and tell me of the slaughter. Alright. So that's the first quest we've turned in. Now we'll come up here and... Oh! Here we go. Blacksmith. Hello. Very strong people, my hammer will be put to good use. Thanks for bringing me here. Glad you decided to join us. I do the best I can with what I've got. Okay, so basically, he's going to allow me to build stuff that fits this. And depending on what I want to... Um, so like Calamity, this is a physical one with a little bit of fire damage and stuff. Uh, aquarium, that is a random element resistance, okay. And there's other things here, but uh, this is right now all he has. I have to learn recipes for him to use them. Bring them back here. Yeah, see, he wants me to give him blueprints. I have found the rift to uh, Burl Ridge. What's the situation out here? Have you found the rift to Burl Ridge? What's the swim? What's the situation there? there? Swimming with ethereal corruption, but the rift gate is secure. Good work. While you were gone, I dug through some files in this office, and I think we have our target. As you were actually. Acutely aware, Ethereals possess human and bend them to their will. I've always had my I've always had my suspicions, but now I have little doubt. The former warden of the prison is possessed well before the grim dawn, in fact. Was it possessed well before the grim dawn, in fact? 
Okay, the Grim Dawn is when the universe went all topsy turvy. How can you be sure? There, mount, there must have been countless holes in the prison records. Prisoners just disappearing, never to be ascended. The warden personal logs paint a more complete picture. He'd been transforming pre prisoners into his secret facility, into a secret. He's been transferring prisoners into a secret facility underneath his mansion in Pearl Witch Village for years. For what I do not know, but I'm sure it wasn't for rehabilitation. There's uh, all sorts of severed mentions of ethereals, rift gates. I need you to find this man or whatever he's become. When I find him, you find him and uh, is uh, basically uh, where uh, he just told me the uh, secret place under his mansion. We'll head back up here. Getting all the greens. Ouch. I'll just kill you relatively fast. Look at that damage. I think I actually poisoned myself. Creatures everywhere. Come over here. Yes, be good creatures and just group up. Just group together. And slaughter. Oh, yeah. My weapon enchants all poisoning and uh, bleeding. Sit there under the cave and shoot at me, that's fine. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, I'm definitely liking now that I remember the. What's it called? The, Spacebar is a pause button, so when I do get those lag spikes, I can pause it. Oh, oh, oh. got a reflection aura. That ain't good. <laughs> wow. And it seems to make my ability hit me back even stronger. Gotta be joking. I can't do that yet. Seem to reflect uh, the acid, just uh, my parts, which is good to know. Which is very good to know. There we go. 
Well, you're probably thinking, like, well, Doom, you're doing so much damage, why are you even wanting to level up Pogs? Well, because I know that some of the bosses upcoming are not going to be the best idea for melee. They're just going to hit me for, like, half my HP in one hit. <laughs> So I definitely don't want to mess with those type of guys in melee. Now, it might seem really badass to uh, be able to defeat a anti-melee boss, but... I'm also playing permadeath, so it's a risky move. And I don't feel that I'm ready to play risky. After putting a few points in the box, or uh, to uh, wasting, or whatever it's called, it, I might put more points into my dual wielding. That definitely seems to be a good thing to have points into. Lord. 
spread it around. Oh, okay, so she's not in this cello. This is where she would have been if she was. Uh, you can tell because she would have put this magic rune down on the ground. Polished emerald. Yes, we will take. Oh, nice. That's a full set of polished emeralds right there. So even though we know the princess is not down here, we should uh, try to find out where this area leads off to. So we don't go down the same path. But then again, she could also be on the other side. Because there's always uh, two entrances and she could be at either one. Processing of my other videos that went up. Oh boy, I really hope it didn't uh, break this video. Alright, sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure that uh, my thing uh, didn't break the recording. I wasn't going to be re uploading like seven minutes of blackness. That would look really bad on me, and uh, you guys wouldn't enjoy that because you just hear it all the time. And since this game has an auto save mechanic, it'd be very bad because there's no way of me uh, bringing this video to you guys uh, ever again. It's like uh, once it's done, it's done. Oh yeah, lots of zombies. But these zombies are very, very vulnerable to uh, smallpox. Not smallpox. The bubonic plague. I mean, that's what Black Death was. But you know, this game calls it the pox, and I'm guessing it's a mixture between smallpox and the Black Death. Don't quote me on it, I'm not quite sure what this game considers the pox to be. If it's even a disease in this game, or if it's just uh, a magical attack that you do as a player. I'm not sure how to get in there either, so we'll just leave those zombies alone. See, I can just break everything by, well, not everything, but most of the stuff uh, by just attacking it. I'm really wanting to find the apprentice in this playthrough, but uh, we're running short on time. Uh. Zombies to the right doesn't matter, I killed them all. Perfect. 
So you'll notice the talents doesn't really change anything, but the blood pox has gotten a lot stronger since I put the three points into there. And you'll notice that once I cast it next time. Which... Yeah, we'll put that in. I think I'll set up for that too. So let me uh, go cat since we're running out of time, I don't think we'll find her. We'll have to find her in the next episode. So but there is a um What's it called? There is a one uh, more cellar door right here. And since it has a stone on it, this may be the one with her in it. Uh, Alright, I think that was a clue that said someone has been here recently, correct? Yep, there she is. Yeah, you can see the new zombie type. Since we're in combat, I really can't uh, read what she has to say because these guys keep coming. But we rescued her. Right? So, once we clear this area out, we will head off uh, to, uh, um, what's it called? The, the city and turn in that quest. Then at the city, I'll turn, I'll sell out the uh, off camera and that stuff. Uh, but yes, we finally got it. We are done here. You can see now my things are doing multiple ticks. That's the vitality damage uh, that's proccing. So now I'm going to be doing bleeding and vitality damage. That is what's making prong. That's now why uh, my, uh, what's it called? Uh, my pox is uh, so powerful. I can just set it off and let it kill whatever I want. But yeah, it's uh, very good now for anti-bosses. And like I said, bosses are going to be the biggest pain in the rear. <laughs> I'm attacking this guy through the wall. planning I will be putting the next few points into this to get my fantastic phantasma armor as you can see I absorb damage from magical uh, or enemy spells I gain armor basically it's a lot of protection all right so we're actually oh not going back yet I have to kill this real fast. That skill's not ready. Good lord. Stop. Stop shooting me. Just die. Volunteer of Death. <laughs> well, let us head back to Devil's Crossing, turn in, and end the, this uh, recording session. Thanks for the timely rescue. Uh, 
Blah 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 spared no time in putting me back to work, uh, so I'm here for all your schematic needs. Just ask. What, you're welcome, it thanks. So I get XP. Is my specialty. Yeah, see, here it is. I can either uh, keep the item or keep the add-on. So if I get a better weapon, I can rip out the item and put it on it. And if I have crafted something, I can dismantle it. Well, that'll be, be it for this there. series. See you next time.